What is up, everybody? I'm James with Microvellum, and this is our first episode of Wood Hacks. I've got something really sweet that I want to show you, so let's get hacking. All right, everyone, today and today only, I've got a special deal for you. Two hacks for the price of one. The first hack is a little known feature called the prompt values column. This is used to manipulate project level subassemblies. Learning how to take advantage of this feature just might make you a hero or at least make you feel like one. The second hack just might blow your mind, especially if you're a spreadsheet nerd like me. All right, so the first thing you need to know about the prompt values column is its purpose, what it is and what it does. The prompt values column gives you the ability to trick a project level subassembly into acting like a unique sub by changing the values inside that sub with your new values. Magic. This is probably one of the coolest things to come to Microvellum spreadsheets, and I'm just gonna jump right into the weeds with this. In order to make this voodoo magic work, there are a few things that you're gonna need to know. One, the prompt values column is relational to the row of the subassembly. Two, only string values will work in this cell. Three, string values must follow the proper format, which is the subassembly defined name entered with underscores, no spaces. Next, add a semicolon. After the semicolon, insert your value. And if you wish to change multiple prompts, separate each set with the pipe symbol. Want to use calculations? Start with an equal sign, and don't forget to use quotations and ampersand symbols. So there are the basics to start using this feature. However, there is a word of caution. If you need to work in a subassembly, you will need to copy and paste the values in this cell to the column to the right before making any changes to that sub. If you don't, any changes that are being fed into that sub from this cell will be saved as well. All this sub talk is making me hungry. All right, so that'll do it for this episode. Whoops, I almost forgot your second hack. So let's say you're not a spreadsheet nerd like me and you're not exactly familiar with writing string values and the format and syntax needed. Did you know that you can use the vectors and point functions to do all the hard work for you? Here's how to do it. One, open the formula editor. Two, start your formula, equal sign. Three, click the function button and insert the vectors function. Four, click the function button again and insert the point function. Five, treat the X location as the defined name parameter. Insert the defined name with underscores, no spaces, and in quotes. Six, treat the Y location as the value parameter. You can even get fancy and replace a sub value with an entirely new formula. Just contain it in quotes. Seven, ignore the pesky Z location. It's not necessary for this, and it's just annoying anyway. Then just continue on down for any additional prompts you need to change. Once you're finished, insert the formula, and bam, instant string value. So you may be wondering how this can help streamline the way you work. Well, how would you like to make all of these wardrobe cabinets parametrically in less than a day? Yeah, it's that cool. All right, so there are the basics plus a hack to get you started using this feature. Just imagine all the things you're gonna accomplish now. And that'll do it for our first episode of Wood Hacks, for real this time. Now it's time for you to get hacking. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new, and we'll see you next time.